Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use UI masks in Unity. Now UI masks are basically used for scrollable UIs, but you can also use them to create custom shaped UIs. In this tutorial, we'll be just seeing what are the types of UI masks available in Unity and how you can use them in your project. So there are two basic types of UI masks in Unity. The first one is Direct Mask 2D and the other one is just mask. So the Direct Mask 2D is basically a rectangle shaped mask. You can customize it by having some padding and softness on the borders. Other than that, it is only a plain rectangle. Now, if you want a custom shaped mask, then you can use the mask component, which takes an image element. And depending on the image alpha channel, the mask will be created. So let's go ahead and uh, try to add both of them to our project and see how it works. So first, let's add a UI element, uh, maybe a text, and we'll type in something. We'll just set the position to zero, and we'll type something in here. So we'll say, "Did you add Linux to?" Has started a new filtering service for people wanting to learn Unity. And you can book your first session for free. Okay, so let's drag the text somewhere here and let's set it to auto size. And if you're not having this auto size option, that's because I'm using Text Mesh Pro and you'll be using the regular Unity UI. Okay. And I'm going to set the height to 400. I guess then we'll have to bring it back to center. Okay. So now the UI is set. Now we'll create the mask component. So let's go ahead and add an image. So any mask that you're creating in Unity will have an image element. The UI image is like a required component here. So let's rename it to. Oh. Now, to convert the image into a mask, you just have to add the mask component. So let's go to the image and add a rect mask 2D. Now, this rect mask 2D will take the rect transform values for creating a mask. So let's drag it to the center. Okay, and then set the width to 200. So as you can see, even after adding the mask, the whole text is visible. That is because the mask object will only mask the game objects that are a child of the mask. So let's go ahead and add the text as the child of the mask object. So now you can see that the text is not visible. That's because the text is white in color and the mask is also white in color. So let's make the text black. Okay. So only the text inside the mask is visible and the text outside the mask is hidden. So you can go ahead and do some little customization by adding padding and softness to the corners. So that is the maximum customization op option available in Rect Mask 2D. Now let's go ahead and remove this component. So now the whole text is visible and let's add the mask component to it. Now this mask component takes in the rect transform values if there is no image present here. But if you add in an image here, then it will take the image alpha value to create a custom shaped mask. So I've drawn an image here in paint and I've used Jim to remove the background. So I'll drag and drop this image to the source image. So you can see that I have a custom shaped mask and everything outside where the alpha value is zero is basically not visible. Now to make it look good, I can just increase the height to 400. So now if you want only a part of the text to be visible, then you can basically add a scrolling function to your text and you can make only the part that you require to be visible. Now, if you don't want this graphics to be visible and you only need the shape, then you can just select the mask object and uncheck show mask graphic. So that way the shape will remain, but the image will disappear. 
So if you already have an image that needs to be masked, then you can use this method. So that was the basics of Unity UI mask. So try it out and create some cool effects. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.